Hi everyone, welcome back to The Makeup Cherry. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to do a classic smoky eye. This was voted for last week, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. Now obviously I went for a black one, but you can mix and match different colors depending on how deep you wanna go or whether you wanna go for a different shade. So you can go for greens and blues, purples, whatever you like within your smoky eye. I went for the extreme today just to show you guys how to do it. Lots of tips and tricks in this video, so I hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get started. So hopefully you've been following along every week and you kind of know the drill by now. We keep using the same same basic things, we're just changing how we're actually doing it each time. So for this video, you're gonna need four brushes, two flat and two blender. Last week, somebody mentioned that they could not get the hang of doing this, which is the fanning technique to get right into the crease. All you have to do is just change it out for a flat brush. That's what I'm gonna do today. We're pretty much staying with the same eyeshadows from last week, except we're adding in a black. So let's get started. As always, I'm gonna start off with an eyeshadow primer. You can use a concealer, but I would recommend using a primer, particularly for this look. I'm going to start applying this all over the lid. You probably guessed by now we are doing the eyes first. I would recommend for beginners to do the eyes first, just so it allows you to be a bit messier. You don't have to worry about it getting all over the place. It gives you a little bit of freedom, and in that freedom, you tend to find a little bit more creativity. Applying this all over, we will be clearing it off later. Going right over to the edge. Take my finger, and I'm just going to tap it out. Now we are gonna half set this primer today, or if you're using concealer, we're gonna half set it. Last week I showed you guys how to do it without having to set, but because a smoky eye blend is so important, I really wanna give us a really good blend, so we're gonna half set it. Now remember to keep that primer and concealer handy because you might need to reapply. But we're gonna half set this primer just above the lid. So we're not setting the lid, it's just gonna be above. So we're gonna keep the eyes open for this. I'm gonna take a matte kind of highlighter shade. We will be using this later. And I'm just gonna use this to set above the crease. So make sure there's no creases to begin with. And then what I've done is I've applied it on one side of the brush. I'm gonna push upwards just so we are setting above the lid. That's all we wanna do. You wanna keep that lid nice and sticky and set above it. If you're a real beginner, go ahead and set the entire thing. But if you're feeling a little bit adventurous, go ahead and just set half of it. And if you're feeling super adventurous, don't set it at all. So now we should have a smooth top, but a sticky lid. We're gonna start off with our blending brushes. This is technically a clean blending brush, but I used it on this side, so that's why it looks so dirty. And then we have our applying blending brush. So if I say to use your clean one, it's this one. If I say to use your applying one, it's this one. Keep them separate, okay? That's why I keep it black and white, but if you have two of exactly the same, no problem. Just remember which one is the clean one and which one is the applying one. First shadow that we're gonna take is our mid-tone, and I'm just tapping the brush in there like this. You don't wanna do little swirls, you just wanna tap it into the shadow. And we're holding the brush in the middle of the handle because I want a lot of control for this. And then as we start applying, we can move further down for less control. You're gonna keep the eyes open and apply above the lid. Just like that, and you see how smooth that goes on? That's because we have a set lid, and that's what we really want for a smoky eye. Now don't worry about coming over to the side. Remember last time I showed you guys where to stop and start? Don't worry about that because we're gonna clean up the edges anyway. So go as far past as you want. That's why we always do a smoky eye, eye first. You can be a bit freer with it. So I'm keeping the brush really low down and I'm hitting above. And this is gonna hit this little area here. So for my hooded friends, you're gonna catch that hood. Don't worry if you bring it too far up because we will be applying a nice shade up here to give us some definition. Now moving further down the handle, holding it at the bottom. Same way, but just a little lower. And we're just gonna free up that movement so we get a softer blend. So if you haven't set the crease like we did, I want you guys to do little swirling motions working in and then open the brush and start doing back and forth. But because we've set the crease, it just gives us a softer blend. So you don't have to be too precise about it. Next, we're gonna take my favorite shade, our fade shade. Remember the last week I talked to you guys about this one? This is basically the finishing touch. This gives you that polished finish. So if you want, you can apply a little bit of your blush. Sometimes I'll even apply a little bit of my lipstick just in that area. It's a great way to finish off your eye makeup look. Today I'm gonna to go for a nice warm brown. It's a little lighter than the mid-tone and it's also a little warmer. So we'll give you a good fade. Make sure your brush isn't too dirty and just take a very small amount on the tip of the brush. And you're basically gonna halo around the edge to give us a nice fade. So I'm holding the brush really far down but I'm still angling it quite low. And then I can bring it up a little higher, get rid of the excess. 
Sinead needs to get her eyebrows done. Once we've applied our nice fade shade, I want you guys to go in with your clean brush. Keeping it quite low, I want you guys to just softly blend the two together. And I'm holding it quite far down on the handle as well. Now the reason we use a clean blending brush is because what we don't want to do is to muddy up what we're applying. So if I try to blend those two shadows with the applying blending brush, we would end up with a muddy effect. This just gives us a little bit of a cleaner blend. Don't worry if you brought it up too far because as I said, we will be dropping it down once we've done our brows. Now you need to remember that when you're doing a smoky eye, it looks really messy right up to the end. So don't worry if it looks super crazy, messy is good. Now we're gonna move on to two blending brushes. One is going to apply the black and then the other one is going to apply that mid-tone. I want you guys to remember which is which because you don't wanna get them swapped over. So I'm gonna start with our mid-tone and this is a little darker than I usually go for a mid-tone, but because we're doing smoke, yeah, you can get away with it. You guys can see it's not too dark, but it's a little darker than my skin. And what you wanna do with this is I've coated both sides of the brush. We're gonna hold it a little further up, see how close it is. And I want you guys to cover the top part of the lid with this color, okay? This is basically gonna be our starting point for our black, so don't worry if it's not perfect, it's okay. It's gonna be covered in black in a little bit, but it'll just help with our blend. So you're covering the whole crease. Look down in the mirror in order to get you to see that little area and just start to push it down. Then I want you guys to hold it a little further down and do exactly the same thing, but this will just give you a softer blend. So you're basically blending from the crease down onto the lid. Then I want you guys to take your clean blending brush and just softly go around the edges, keeping the brush really low down on the handle and just work back and forth. Then take your other flat brush and apply the black across the lid. And I'm gonna press the brush in to pick up just the right amount of product on both sides. If you're a beginner, I want you guys to tap off a little bit of that excess, because otherwise you'll panic when it goes onto your lid. And I want you guys to start in the center of the lid, really pack it on the center as close to the lash line as possible. Then I want you guys to pick up just a little bit more. You should have the majority already in the center part. And then to work around the edges, so you're gonna slowly work up across the lid. And I'm holding the brush a little further down on the handle this time. And I'm keeping it really low, because we're blending up, so we keep the brush low. If you're blending down, you're gonna keep the brush high. We are blending up to cover the lid. And I'm just working across the lid now. Keep that pressing motion. If you need a little bit more product, feel free to pick it up just a little bit at a time. Try not to apply too much product as you get up here though. You really just wanna use whatever's left over on the brush because otherwise you'll end up with a darkened area above. We really want the darkness to be right at the lash line. I want you guys to take the other flat brush and a little bit of that mid-tone and I want you guys to go back over the top of the lid. So keep the eyes open and just go back over it. Now if it ends up looking a little too brown, just take your black again and go back over. There's nothing new on the brush, it's just keeping it separate from the brown application. And then go back in with the brown if you need to. You're gonna look a little bit like a panda, but don't worry, because we're gonna take our blending brush next. And we're holding it a little further down the handle, keeping the brush a little higher so it's at eye level. I want you guys to sweep over and back. Now remember, you've got a lot more control because you're coming at the angle like this rather than here. So just remember to keep your hand nice and light. You don't need to push on the brush too much. Keeping at eye level will give you the amount of pressure that you need. Then I want you to keep your clean blending brush and take a little bit of that fade shade. And I want you to keep it really light and just go around the edges. Now it's still looking a little crazy, don't panic. We're gonna clean up now and then I'm gonna show you guys how to sharpen up this look. So I'm taking a little bit of makeup remover on a cotton pad. I'm not a big fan of using wipes. I'm gonna fold it around my finger so I can get like a nice sharp line. And I'm going to wipe away the excess. And once I've cleaned up underneath the eyes, I take a dry cotton pad and I just tap it around the edge. And this will just absorb any of that makeup remover, but also soften it slightly because sometimes you can get like a really sharp line. And I don't think a smoky eye should be sharp. Now that we've cleaned up underneath the eyes, we also want to create definition above here. So start by filling in the bottom part of your brows if it's already done, no worries. Take a little concealer brush and a bit of that primer or concealer and just go around the edges. This will just add a little bit more of a sharp finish. 
I'll also drop it slightly because as you can see we brought ours really high up. We need to bring it back down again. So I'm just gonna go around the edge of our brow. And then we wanna set this concealer because we don't want it to be too harsh. So I'm gonna take that same concealer brush I've just wiped off the excess. This is the same shade that we used to set our crease to begin with. Don't apply too much, just go around the edge. Don't worry if it drops down a little low, that's okay. So feel free to go a little bit closer to your skin tone if you want. You don't have to go so light. Then take your blending brush, the one that we use for cleaning up, and just very softly sweep over it. So I'll just give you a softer blend. You want to reapply your primer, moisturizer, and all that underneath your eyes and apply your base, and then we'll come right back. A few things to bear in mind when you're doing a smoky eye is that your base has to be just as flawless. You can have a messy smoky eye, but you have to make sure that your base, your foundation, your concealer, all of that looks tip top condition. Before we start underneath the eyes, I'm going to apply a little bit of powder. And what this will do is just keep those under eyes nice and bright. You might say to yourself, why didn't we just do this from the start? But if you have dry skin, or if you have mature skin. You don't wanna have powder sitting there the entire time that you're doing your makeup. So just do it right at the end, just as you're doing the underneath part. It will still catch fallout, but it won't be on for as long because we're only gonna do underneath. And honestly, I cannot deal with baking powders at the moment. I am not getting enough sleep and my under eyes are creasing up. So for underneath the eyes, we're gonna take a little bit of black and we're just gonna push this as close to those lashes as possible. A little trick with this is to aim for your lashes and that way you get right in between and just a little underneath. I'm just patting this underneath the eye. It's really hard to do this on camera. And you can bring it around the corner. But we don't wanna leave it like this because this is enclosing your eyes, gonna make it look smaller. So we need to blend it out. So we're gonna take our other flat brush and that mid-tone shade, and I'm just coating the tip of the brush for both applications so that we don't get it all over the place. And you're gonna sweep this just below that black. So just below it, and I'm just press, 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 pressing. Go around the corner. Now what I want you guys to do is take your blending brush and I want you to squash it down. Now I know a lot of you were saying you just can't seem to get the hang of this. Use a small pencil brush to smudge. But I like to limit how many brushes you actually have to use, but you can use a pencil brush for this. Now I'm gonna start with nothing on here because there's probably still a little bit left over from when we did the top. And I'm just gonna run this underneath just to blend what's already there. And you wanna look up for this. No, I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm hoping this looks okay. And now we wanna take our fade shade, same brush, squash it down and go around the edges. And you wanna bring this a little lower this time. Super important step, guys. Please do not skip your fade shade. Your fade shade will make all of the difference. Now we can brush off this powder quickly if you have dry skin, get rid of that powder. And hopefully they should lift off any fallout that you might have gotten. But either way, it'll keep it nice and clean for you. So lashes are on, totally optional though with a smoky eye because I feel there's enough darkness, you don't technically need lashes, but they do make a bit of a difference. Now on the waterline for a classic smoky eye, you'd apply a black, but feel free to change it up. Maybe apply like a bronzy color, a little bit of shimmer on that waterline. To keep it quite classic, I decided to apply a black, but choose whatever color you want. And I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Makeup. A little pro tip, take the same color as your lipstick, or your blush and apply this as your fade shade. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this blush here because it pretty much matches my lipstick. And I'm gonna go around the edges and it's a great way to just bring that look all together. So that is the finished look. I haven't done a smoky eye in forever. I'm absolutely loving it. Definitely let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see next week. You can also vote over on my Instagram. 